In the late 1950s, Anthony Burgess appears to have flirted with the idea of becoming a Mohammedan. He put it in this way. You believe in one God. You say your prayers five times a day. You have a tremendous amount of freedom, sexual freedom. You can have four wives. The wife herself has a commensal freedom. She can achieve divorce in the same way a man can. Four wives, an incalculable number of offspring, and they're all attesting to your virility. And the whole thing is sustained by patriarchal authority. And he said in an interview in the uh, 70s, I can go along with Islam. It's pretty close to us. The whole of Europe could have been Islamicized. Indeed, Spain was. And if you're living in the East, if you're living under hot skies, desert sands, camels, you can see the attraction of this very austere religion. You can see the attraction of abstention from food during the hours of day. It's, it's a simple religion. It's a very simple religion. But unfortunately, the Quran is a very bad book. There's nothing much to read in the Quran. It's most austere. There's no decoration in a mosque. You're not allowed to represent the human figure. So the art is totally calligraphic. There's no music. It's terribly austere. And of course, rather attractive. The news about people being whipped publicly, people being beheaded, they really take it seriously in Saudi Arabia. But in a country like Malaya, there's a charm about Islam. Islam has to stand on its own. It has to jostle up against other religion, see how it gets on. And it's very amusing. It's very touching to see how it gets on. Up against Shintoism, Buddhism, Christianity, the atheists, what you will. But when Islam becomes monolithic, when it becomes a genuine state religion, as in Saudi Arabia, then it's rather repulsive. And then later in life, uh, Burgess, he died in 93, uh, Burgess wrote as follows. The old opposition was between the free world, so-called, and the communist world. But now Marxism is seen as an out-of-date philosophy based on 19th century materialism. And the new Europe, which means the overseas Anglophone world, as well as the polyglot continent, will be, if not Judeo-Christian, at least liberal and humanistic and nostalgic for some kind of faith. The opposition to this will not be atheistic communism, but fundamentalist Islam. Islam cannot be absorbed into the new committee. I foresee Islam becoming more and more intolerant and more and more militant. Burgess asks the question, or rather he has a character ask the question in his Malayan trilogy. Why cannot Islam develop a more progressive outlook? The character Hardman in the novel Beds in the East is unmoved, at least at the beginning of the novel, 
by the Quran. And he, the character Hardman, states uh, that he wonders how, with such a repetitive farrago of platitudes, expressing so self-evident a theology and an ethic so puerile, Islam can have spread as it has. And I don't know if you remember the character Georges Lafourgue in the Malayan trilogy. He is very, very concerned about Hardman and actually describes Islam as the old enemy. But the character Crab is more detached. He muses, uh, reflects, considers uh, whether the Prophet uh, had something to do with the invention of beer. You'll find um, that, I don't know if you remember the character Tommy Jones in Beds in the East. He says of Crab, uh, he didn't seem himself the next morning. This is after a night of drinking. Uh, Tommy and Victor spent an evening drinking. They took a couple of Chinese prostitutes, but in the end uh, did not make use of their services. But Tommy states, he didn't seem himself the next morning. <clears throat> he kept talking about the Prophet Muhammad inventing beer. <laughs> 